Mm. I think you can take it away, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, I think we have touched a lot of these laws that fall under what we call reproduction. Mm -hmm. So we've been talking about reproduction. So we started off, obviously, um, uh, with, with reproduction and we came into um, adaptation. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about laws under adaptation. And we mentioned quite a few laws, the law of growth, the law of the mind. Yeah. You know, all of these laws, we were touching on them. And it, it's very important for us to understand that all of these laws that I've been touching on yes. are basically dealing with the aspect of how humans are meant to adapt to the mm -hmm. system of life. Mm -hmm. And this is very important for us to, to associate that because then it makes a lot more sense for us to understand why we're talking about these laws and why these laws are imperative in us making sure that we understand how we adapt as human beings. Hmm. And these laws become critical because when we have a better understanding yes. of how to apply these laws, we then have a better understanding of how to navigate life. Mm -hmm. And it makes it easier because a lot of things begin to make a lot more sense to us then we put less pressure on ourselves and we put less stress on ourselves because we understand that there are certain laws that govern how things happen yes. and things don't just happen for the sake of just happening. But today I want to touch on a law that I believe is going to refresh a lot of people yeah, yeah. because I've been talking around how a person builds themselves up towards a a particular goal, yes. how a person builds themselves up towards a particular uh, 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 target yes, or, sir. you know, a destination. Mm. And I've mentioned this because purely of the fact that I've always believed that for you to take advantage of the opportunities that are available for you as a person, mm -hmm. you need to be, to be developed up to a certain point. Ah. Now, every opportunity that you take advantage of, let me put it this way, mm. you can only take advantage of opportunities that are at your level of growth. Oh. Okay. You cannot take advantage or capitalize mm -hmm. on opportunities that are above your level yes. of growth. Yes. Anything that is above your level of growth mm -hmm. is, uh, is unattainable for you. Yes, sir. So you will need to get to a space where you've grown up to a certain point mm. for you to be able to take advantage of those opportunities. Now, I'll give a simple example. Yeah, yeah. Say people go to school and you only have metric. Mm -hmm. There are certain opportunities that you can take care, you can take advantage of mm. at a matriculant level. Okay. There are certain opportunities you can take advantage of at a certification level. Yes, yes. At a diploma level, mm. at a degree level, at a postgraduate degree mm. level. There are also opportunities that you can take advantage of at a doctorate level. Mm. Now, all these opportunities are geared up to be taken advantage of by certain levels of growth. Mm. And what I'm also wanting to say is that that level of growth, yes. growth is also the reason why you attract those opportunities. Ooh. So not only can you capitalize on them, yeah. but you can also attract those opportunities. Opportunities. Nice. How do we know this? Mm -hmm. You will find that there are those people who have been in their careers for long. They will tell you mm -hmm. that I was headhunted for the opportunity that I have. Yeah. People called me. I did not apply. I do not. I did not do anything. Yes. But because I have set a reputation. I have some form of rapport when mm. it comes to that particular level yes, of expertise. Yes, People are able to call me and come to me uh -huh. and say to me, we need your expertise. Mm. So because of those expertise, those expertise are able to attract mm. certain people towards you Ooh. because you have grown to that level. Mm. So it's not only the aspect of taking advantage, but it is also the aspect of attracting some of those opportunities nice. because you have grown to that level. So what it means is that there is no level of growth that is useless. There is no amount of growth that is useless. Yes, sir. And there is no such a thing as being overqualified for something. Because when you are overqualified for something, you are qualified for something higher. Yes, sir. Ha. So if you are overqualified for something, say yes. for an example, uh -huh. you have a postgraduate degree and you take an admin job. Mm. You might be overqualified for that job, but there is a job that is quali that you are ah, qualified for. Yes, so yes, either way, wh wherever you are at uh -huh. any level of your life, there are certain opportunities that you can take advantage of. Mm. But now today, I want to introduce what I call the remedy of creation. The How God, creation. yes, mm. I, I call this law the remedy of creation. Yes. The reason why I call it the remedy of creation is because this is God's way of showing you that he exists and he cares about you. Yes, sir. This is his way of showing mm. us the law of time and chance <gasps> where certain things happen to you. Even if you have not prepared for them, they uh, will come. Uh -huh. 
even if you have not geared yourself up, you have not, you've not aligned yourself, you have not, you know, positioned yeah. yourself. But the law of time and chance mm. is a law that allows certain opportunities to come into your life over and over again mm. in cycles. Mm. Yeah, so <laughs> it, it, it's it's like you are stumbling upon something. Yes. So so l let me let me now go into into the details. So the lo this law basic mm. specifically deals mm. with with the preparation of a person that the preparation a person goes through. Yes, sir. You go through a certain a certain levels of preparation even without any prospects of knowing that where you are going. Mm. You know mm. you you might have you might have all of a sudden an interest of of reading something in admin and mm. you don't understand why you have such an interest. Oh, you might even want to develop yourself in admin and do short courses in admin or do short courses in in finance yeah. you know they have finance for non-financial mm. people mm. and they have courses different courses that people might take and want to do sometimes you might look and say hey you know what i feel you know there's a lot of people that do courses mm. and sometimes they do courses because at work they send them through those courses. Mm. Sometimes when they are sitting in the middle of the course, they're like, I don't see the reason why I am doing this course. I really don't see where this thing is taking yeah. me. I've, I've even seen posts on social media when they say, you know, I, st I did solve for x in mathematics mm. in school but and I don't, don't see where I'm using solve for x. I am telling you right now, mm. you are using solve for x every day. Now, you might not be solving for x. Yes. But solving for x, x has taught you to think in a particular uh, way. Wow. It has taught you to think in a particular way where you are able to solve things that are unknown. Mm. Where they are known and they are unknown. Yes, and you are using the known to figure out the unknown. Yes, yes, now that ability, that uh, uh, skill, that yes. technique that, you, that was developed, mm -hmm. you might not be solving for X, but you have the ability to solve for the unknown. Mm. And the unknown in the school perspective, yeah. it was what? It was yes, X. X. It was Y. It was Z. Mm. But in life's perspective, that unknown may be other things. Yes, sir. It may be a lot of other things that you are fixing yes, so there is no level of education mm -hmm. or level of development self-development mental development mm -hmm. any other form of development some people might say why do i need to run i do i'm not going to run a comrades marathon yeah. why do i need to run what you don't realize is that when you are running your body is remedying certain things that are not going well in your body yes sir well, when you run your body teaches you what is your ideal weight because you will lose your weight up to a certain point and all of a sudden you know hey, when I'm at this weight, I am able to be more effective. Mm. I am less tired. I am more impactful. I am able to achieve a lot more at this size. When I am bigger, I get tired easily. Yeah. There are people, and some it's vice versa. Yes, sir. Some people have a big body and they're born like that and it's meant to be like mm. that. You know, there are certain things that you learn when you do certain things. And you might think, you know, there's no value, there's no benefit in it, but I tell you, there is value. Yes. So even if there are no prospects of you wanting to achieve something, mm -hmm. you end up stumbling into opportunities. Yeah. And some of them are great. Hmm. Some of them are exposures. Yeah. Some of them are, 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 are people. You stumble mm. into people mm. that might be useful mm. to you and where you are going. Mm. Where a person will just all of a sudden develop an interest to say, look, I want to help you. Mm. Come here. Partner with me. Let's start Ooh. a business. And, the, and then they grow you until you get to a point where one day they will ask you, how did you get to be a millionaire? And you say, hey, I stumbled into a person yeah. that I had never known yeah. in my life. Yeah. And I met them for the first time yeah. I met them. They were interested in working mm. with me. This is how the law of time and chance yes. works. Where God presents a series of opportunities mm -hmm. that come in cycles. They are seasonal. Yes, they come over. So there are levels to opportunities. Let me clarify this before people get me wrong. Yes, there are levels to opportunities. There is a level of opportunity where those opportunities are opportunities you call once in a lifetime. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Where they come, that opportunity comes once and it will never visit you again. Mm. There are those opportunities that might come once or twice three times to four times, yeah. there are those that are cycles that, that, that are cyclic that keep coming all the mm -hmm. time. Those opportunities will continue coming for as long as you are doing what you are supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. Now, let me explain something here. Yes, sir. The law of time and chance, in as much as it deals with us stumbling into things that we had not intended to stumble upon, mm -hmm. you might be studying mathematics mm -hmm. and you don't know why you are studying mathematics. Hmm. And you feel it's useless. But anyways, you studied it and you qualified and you are at home. Mm -hmm. And you find a situation where you stumble yeah. upon a person who is a big business person. Mm -hmm. And they are busy maybe with some a problem that they are trying to fix. Yeah. And this problem requires something was uniquely mathematical in yes, thinking. Mm -hmm. And because you have that background, you stumble upon that opportunity. And that person says, what is it that you have studied? Mm -hmm. And you said, no, I did mathematics. And he said, look, I have 
something that I'm dealing with that is troublesome, yeah. that I'm trying to fix. Mm. Do you mind having a look at it and tell me what you think? Nice. Before you know it, you look at this thing and to you it looks easy and you fix it. Mm -hmm. And after fixing it, yeah. you have a business opportunity with that particular person. Law and chance. You understand what I'm trying to mm. say? So let me give another example. So there was this one person that I took into to a gala dinner. Okay. Um, it was a bunch of friends. Mm -hmm. So I took took a few people to a gala dinner and I said, look, let's go to a gala dinner. Uh, there are some important people there. It might yeah. be a good opportunity yeah. to network. Yeah. We got there and this one individual interacted with the mine owner unknowingly. <whistles> and while they were interacting with this mine mm. owner, the mm. mine owner said, can we quickly go to the basement? Okay. To my car. Yeah. Okay, so they got to the car. And this guy pulled his mining business. Yes. And he showed this person. And this person said, oh, yeah, look, here and there and there, I can help you. Because mm. I specialize here. And I, the, when that person left the gala dinner uh -huh, that night, uh -huh. she had an opportunity to wow. partner and get a contract on that mine to do that particular work. Love, time and chance. You see how time and chance works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you will find that there are certain things that you are drawn towards that you might not necessarily want to go to. Mm. But you just happen and say, you know what, I've got nothing to lose. Yeah. Let me just, go. just go. Only yeah. to get there and realize that that was the best decision you could have mm. ever made in your life. Hmm. Why? Because the law of time and chance, time and chance were yeah. crossing paths. And it allowed you, mm. it allowed you to tap into a breakthrough. You could have yes. never reached that breakthrough if you didn't go there. if you didn't mm. go there oh! now let's let's now disintegrate this yes, a little sir. bit so yes, we sir. talk about time mm -hmm. and we talk about chance so let's look at time what is time you know there's a dictionary description of time yeah. that time is is measured is a measured period during which actions and process and conditions exist and mm. continue right yeah, yeah now i have my own definition okay. of time Give and for me it's a continued sequence of existence oh, yeah. and events that are irreversible but cyclic Whew! Wow. So it's things that happen uh -huh. yeah? uh -huh. over and over again. Mm. They can be cyclic, mm -hmm. they can be, but they are irreversible, they are irreversible. which means I cannot turn the hands of time. Mm -hmm. But when time has passed, time has passed. Ooh. But the good thing about it is that some of them yeah. are cyclic. They will come back again to you. Nice. nice. Now, which means it says time is repetitive. Mm -hmm. Even if you look at your clock, yeah. when that needle passes mm -hmm. uh, 12, it will pass 12 again. Again. Rest oh. assured, it will pass 12 again. <laughs> it might have passed wow. and you say, oh, it's one o'clock, yeah. it's already past 12. <laughs> it, will, it will pass it will 12 again. again. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. All you have to do is to wait for it to pass 12 again. Mm. And it will... So time, the good thing about time yes, is that even if time passes, yeah. it will pass there again. Again. Love that. But it does not mean we take advantage of the fact that it will come back again. Mm. We need to seize the opportunity mm. while it's still early because mm. in as much as time is cyclic, uh -huh. it's also continuous. Because I'm, I'm adding a year into my life every day. Mm -hmm. That is a repetition. Mm. But if you look at it in the whole scope of existence, yeah. I am adding ages. Mm. So I might be a year old. Mm -hmm. Next year, when a year passes again, yeah. it's an additional year. But now I'm two years old. Whew. I'm three years old. Yeah. I'm four years old. Until I am 50 years old. Yes. So it will repeat itself, but time is moving. Now, let's look at the part of chance. What is chance? Chance, according to the dictionary, is the likelihood of something happening. How possible yeah. is it for the probability, probability. of it happening, right? Mm -hmm. Now, here's my definition of chance. The occurrence of events in the absence of ob obvious intention or cause. You don't know how this thing happened. You don't know what caused it to yeah. arrive where it was. Where you are in the middle of somewhere mm. stranded and a stranger just shows up to help you. Hmm. No one called for help. Hmm. No one asked for help. You, are, you have a flat tire on the side of the road and a person just decides to stop. Hmm. Wow. You have not even asked. Hmm. You were just sitting in the car and this person saw, why is your car on the side of the road? Do you need any help? Are you okay? And you say, by the way, I have a flat tire. The law of time and chance. Where people come and provide help when you did not even ask for help. When opportunities come, when you did not even pray for them. When you did not even look for them, when you did not even ask for them. So that period of time, when that cycle comes, it creates and, and presents a series of opportunities that you will experience as a person. Opportunity after opportunity. But what you need to understand Yes, is that you need to seize those opportunities. Seize those you need opportunities. to take those, you ah, seize those opportunities. Mm. You need to take them. Do not let them slip mm. through your fingers. Yeah. You need to take them because those ones is, is opportunities that I call favor. Mm. Okay. It's, it's what I call favor. Okay. That's when you life is giving you favors. Mm. 
to say as a system of life i am created to give every single human being chances mm -hmm. and those chances i are, are given in a form of favors to say by virtue of you being in existence whether trained or not yes. there are series of opportunities that will always be available to come yeah. but let me explain this mm -hmm. However, these opportunities are generally, and I'm talking the law of time and chance, yes. are generally less inferior. They are inferior oh, right. to the opportunities you get by preparation. Mm. Okay. Wow. So there are opportunities you get by yeah. preparation which are of a higher order yeah. than the opportunities you get through the law of time and chance. Mm. Hmm. Okay. They are not at the same level. Yes. Because the ones you prepare for, there is effort. There is energy, there is development, there is time allocated, there's investment. All these laws that I've been talking, law of the mind, law of investment, all of these laws are coming into it for you to be prepared for it. Yes, but then you find the law of time and chance, which comes to everyone. Mm. It comes to everyone and it presents, it could be small opportunities, yeah. it could be slightly medium-sized opportunities, it could be big opportunities, but they are not at the same level yeah. as the opportunities you create by developing, developing. yourself. Mm -hmm. Does it make sense? Too much okay so now what is important about mm. this law mm. why why must we talk about this law why is it so critical for us to talk about the law of time and chance yes, it's because mm -hmm. when all else has failed yes sir you do not need to write yourself off oh very imperative when all else has failed when you've looked around mm -hmm. and you, you you are at the point in your life where there is no way you can develop yeah. yourself. There's no way you can grow yourself. There's no way you can do anything else. And, and all you are, you, you, you are just sitting there thinking, what else is there for me left in this? You know, when people get to that point, some of them can even be suicidal. True, true. Some of them can even give up on life yeah. and just sit at home and do nothing mm. and just give up on ever, ever achieving anything in life. But I've got news for you today. Come on. There is another law My called name. the law of time and chance, yes, which sir. you can take advantage of. So never write yourself off. Never give up on yourself because God has created within this system of life. Uh -huh. He has created a law that produces what we call unmerited favor. Ooh. Favor that is not warranted. Yes, favor sir. that is not, cannot be justified. Amen. You cannot give reasons for it. You cannot explain how it came, yeah. where it comes from, to what the, you, you, there is just no facts around mm. why it even exists, why this opportunity even landed on my mm. lap, but it landed there because of time and chance. Mm. This is one of the reasons why now I want to mention these five things before I close. Okay. No form of development is useless. And I've said this already, yes, that there are levels of contribution that every level of development mm. puts to your life hmm. and that level of contribution will attract opportunities at that level of contribution are you with me people yes, now what is important about that is that you need to understand that it does not matter what you are equipping yourself on that level of equipping <laughs> has some level of benefit nice. in what you are doing nice mm. i don't know if this makes any sense uh -huh. Definitely. I was sharing a story one day yes, sir. with with some people, and I think I also touched on it here mm -hmm. on 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 the radio. Mm -hmm. There are several opportunities that a person will gain by doing something that they don't think is important, mm. but that thing actually helps them to develop other qualities. Hmm. I am generally, or in fact, I'm I'm an introvert. Yes, sir. A lot of people don't believe me mm. that I'm an introvert. Yeah. So. I had to learn certain skills and do certain courses that sitting in those classrooms felt mm -hmm. like a nightmare. Hmm. I was like, why do I have to even emotional intelligence? Mm -hmm. Why do I have to do leadership mm -hmm. uh, through presentation skills? Why do I have to do all of those things? Yes. Why? And, and people will say, how did you get to speak so comfortably mm -hmm. in public? Mm -hmm. And as an introvert, that does not make any sense. Mm -hmm. Yes, it doesn't. But when you've put a certain level of development, it develops you in other areas where you, you might not necessarily think you are developing, yes. but by doing those things, you are developing. So there is no level of development that goes unnoticed. Mm. No mm. level of development that is useless. Mm -hmm. No level of development that is not important. Yeah. I don't know if I'm making yeah. any sense. Yeah. Yeah. It's like people that don't understand. Why do I have to do advanced driving? Mm. Mm. Why do I have to do advanced driving? You know, <laughs> on my way here, I saw an accident and oh, a car. Man. That's why I was a bit, almost, almost yes. late, actually. A car had, 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 had fallen on its side. Mm. And, and, you know, you look at those things and you, and you realize 
if if we were to develop our driving skills mm -hmm. to a level where we do advanced driving yes to a level where we do defensive driving mm -hmm. you know all these additional driving which in fact insurance if you have those things they give you less premium you pay less oh yeah okay because they they see you as a much more a safer person on the road because of the skills you have okay you, you realize how development nice, works nice. you get less premiums wow. because you actually are developed in this that is why when you call for insurance mm -hmm. they will ask you have you done any other training yeah. besides your driver's yes. license and you, they'll ask you have you done any advanced mm -hmm. driving have you done any defensive mm -hmm. if you've done those things your premium becomes less wow. okay now those things you might look at them and say, why do I have to do it? Mm. But let me tell you something. Money-wise, it can save you money. Yes. Why do I have to do those things? You will never know until you are faced with an accident true, waiting true. to happen. Mm. To say your defensive driving skills actually help you to maneuver when a car is losing control. Mm. Those things, are they, they don't seem important, but they can be very, very critical Crucial. for you mm. when it comes to certain yeah. aspects of your life. Yeah. So no form of character is also insignificant. Yes. Whether good or bad, and now let me touch on this. Yeah. Whether good or bad, there is no level of character that is insignificant. Even if it's bad character, it will attract people that love bad behaving people. Hmm. Oh. To say, this one is a totsie just yeah. like me. We can be totsies <laughs> together. And they will approach you and say, look, I wanted to rob a bank. What yeah. do you think? Mm. And you ask yourself, why do you come and ask me to <laughs> rob a bank? It's because you have attributes yeah. about you that are saying, hey, this one can be helpful yeah. in me designing a plan mm. to rob a bank. And then we'll have people that say, you know what? I, I need someone to talk to. And you ask yourself, why do not you decide you want someone to talk? Why would you I choose mean, me mm. to talk to? Yes. There are many other people you can talk to. It's because you are exhibiting attributes that are saying, I can trust this person, I can talk to that mm. person. So there is no character that is insignificant. Whether good, whether bad, that character will attract what it needs to attract. Mm. If it's bad, it will attract bad. Oh. If it's good, it will attract good. Yeah. Whatever you are, that's what you will attract. Oh. Now, yes, in the absence of obvious breakthroughs and uh -huh. growth, mm -hmm. the law of time and chance comes into play. Nice. In the absence of obvious growth or breakthrough, mm. the law of time and chance comes into play. This becomes very important. Mm. And I am not saying that the law of time and chance is independent mm. of, of training and development. What I am saying is that you will experience a higher order of opportunities nice. when you are developed and prepared. But when you are not, you will still get opportunities, but they will be at that level. Mm. They are not going to be similar to the ones that have trained themselves. Yeah. Okay. So the other thing that I want to touch on is the importance of creating rapport. Mm. A good image. Yes, sir. Creating a level of trust with people. A good image. Yes, sir. Creating a rapport. Because that is the power to draw out from people. Mm. Mm. It gives you the power to draw out from people. When people feel comfortable doing stuff with you, people are willing to open their hands and interact with you and you can actually take advantage of opportunities. Rapport is very important. The image that you create around yourself plays a very critical role in how you seize opportunities. This is why the law is important. These elements actually are showing you how the law really operates. How the law, re I'm, I'm also going to talk about the conditions of the law okay. so that you understand what actually, make. how, how do you then make sure that when those opportunities come, yeah. they, they meet you right on time nice. and they meet you right for them to actually work. Mm -hmm. Now, the importance of that is that you will also see the law of time and chess teaches you on valuing what we call creating a value network. Hmm. A value network. A value, ne not just mm -hmm. a network. Think about how many people that know big people. Hmm. But there is nothing people. happening in their lives. Yeah. Ooh. Because that is not a value network. Yo. You might find that the people they are linked to are way too high mm. for their level of opportunity. Ah, That's why they cannot capitalize on being around those people. But you'll find someone else who's much higher up. When he looks at that, he says, how can you waste such a network? Ne? Mm. And that person is in the middle of it. Yeah. And they like him. They call him <laughs> or her every day yeah. to say, I want to have lunch. I'm, 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 I'm bored. Please yeah, come. come. And you get there. This person is having lunch with the president. Oh. But he's not taking it. They just naturally like you. Yeah. Because the law of time and chance has put you in that space. Man, man. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But for you to take advantage of higher opportunity mm. with those people, you will need to develop yourself up to a point. Now, the law of time and chance also says, uh -huh. make sure that your networks mm. are value networks. Nice. That is going to help you so much. Nice, yeah. That's all I have for you this week. Thank you so much. You will find us on YouTube. You'll find us on TikTok mm -hmm. and Instagram. YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, live. 
underscore in underscore perspective 2019 and facebook life in perspective nice. thank you so much motho so in that shell your life just got into perspective mr happy mr happy thank you so much sir. Uh -huh. thank you